This is a tutorial on how to post to the discussions in uh, Psych 1 Online. The first thing we need to talk about is how to access the, the discussions themselves. And all of that will be done through uh, the weekly assignment modules. In fact, all, all assignments will be accessed through these weekly assignment modules. There are going to be three discussions. Uh, each one of them will take a time period of five weeks. So you can post any time during that five weeks. There will be an essay and then two replies to other people's essays. So let's take a look at how we do that. Uh, let's go to chapter one. That'll take us to the different modules. Chapter one was clicked, so it appears at the top. If we scroll down, we see multitasking discussion one. So we click on that. That takes us to the discussion. Now what you're going to see here is, is first a, an explanation of the topic, a general summary of the current research. Typically uh, several videos or uh, links to reading that you can do to familiarize yourself with the topic. And then there will be three to four questions typically that you need to include in your essay. So this is going to be formal English academic uh, formatted essays. So these discussions will do two things for us. It'll, it'll act as a, a vehicle for the writing requirements for the class as well as uh, in an interactive environment for uh, discussions. So these questions that you answer uh, should be included without the numbers in your essay. That will help you uh, make sure that you answer them all and your grade will suffer if you don't. So you need to answer all these questions, read the instructions very carefully all the way through, include the questions and answer each question. After you answer each question, uh, you've, you're free to make any kind of comments or a discussion uh, about the topic however you want. And then after that part is the little section here that talks about uh, the minimum word count, point values uh, for the various parts. It's 150 points total, and that's uh, 100 points for the essay, and each of the replies are 25. Uh, the total essay word length is 550 words, and the replies are 150 words. You need to do research for this project. You need to have two outside sources that you use. You can quote or paraphrase. And anytime you do either of those, you need to cite and reference the material. So you should have a reference list at the very end. It will be on the same page. That's fine. And then in-text citations. If you don't know how to do any of that, Go to the home page and there will be something called Writing Tools, a link right below my picture. There will be four links. One of them is called Writing Tools and it has tutorials on, on how to do either APA or MLA format, which you have a, your choice of which one that you would want to use. These videos should not be used as your two primary sources. You can refer to them uh, as long as you provide references, uh, but don't use them as your primary uh, source. And also don't uh, use a video uh, at all as, as your primary source, either one of your primary sources. You need to use good quality sources. Examples of not so good quality are uh, blogs or uh, websites that provide general knowledge about .com would be an example, that sort of thing. A good example of, a, of, of an excellent source is Scientific American Mind right here. And you'll find a link on the home page in the um, web links area. Just go into there and, it'll find, and you'll find a, a link to Scientific American Mind. And that typically means that they should be science or psychology oriented, not, not grab bag topic type sources. I don't require that you have peer reviewed 
Uh, journal articles, those tend to be very extremely specific, uh, kind of stuffy for our purposes here. Actually, I'd prefer that you probably don't use those, but I, you know, I don't care if you find a good quality one, go ahead and use it. Okay, so once you read this and uh, do your research for your essay, you type out your essay in your word processor. Word is available for free to all students now through the school. Let me know if you need to know how to access that and I can help you out. So you should have a complete office uh, set of software available to you for free. Uh, so you can use Word or another uh, word processor of your choice. So when you get it ready, you come down here right below all of my instructions and you hit reply. That will open up a, a submission window and an editor. This is the resident editor for Canvas. Uh, it's used in several places. So you would then paste your document into here. I would use uh, Word format. Uh, so that would be like a doc or a docx. Uh, but several others will work. This particular editor is probably going to not come out looking exactly like you pasted it, and you might have to clean it up a little bit in this editor, which is similar to Blackboard. So if you're familiar with Blackboard and how it kind of tends to butcher your work, it, this one's maybe a little bit better, but not much. So now you're going to have your essay in here, and so let's give an example here. And the other thing you need to do is distinguish between a heading and a, or I'm sorry, a reply and your essay. And you need to, to write those right up at the top. So label them. And this one we'll call, okay, and then you include your essay. And then when you get that all tuned up and just how you like it, don't forget your reference list at the bottom. Um, come down here and click on post reply. So now you see this is what I just typed right down here at the bottom. It says multitasking essay, essay by Harvey Student. Now, uh, when I, I already provided a couple of sample posts before I started here. And this one is a reply, so I typed at the top reply to Sam Student's essay. Now you can reply to other people's replies, but the ones that are graded are going to be the first two replies that you give to other people's essays. Okay, the first two. So make them the good ones. After that you can post as many as you like, uh, but, but the first two replies are, are need to be to other people's essays. You won't be able to see anybody else's essay when you make your first post of your essay. And that's your essay does need to be your first post. So then after that, after you make your first essay, you can uh, you can see other people's essays and, and then reply to those. Okay. These are focused discussions. They're not threaded. In fact, there is a thread, but it's it, the only one there is my thread. So everything else will be the reply to my initial post, which is the instructions and the initial thread. And that's your initial uh, post and essay. And then the other types are replies to uh, other people's essays, at least two of those. They don't get graded until, until you have three posts, uh, an essay and, and two replies. Unless the end of the semester comes and you and you have only done, let's say, the essay, then I will grade the essay by itself. Other than that, I'm going to wait until it's all in because they grade they get graded as a package of three, at least, posts for a total of 150 points. Unless things have changed from summer, and I don't think they have, you cannot edit or delete once you've posted, once you've hit submit. You cannot edit or delete your posts. Now, if you catch something that's drastically wrong, maybe you forgot your uh, references, contact me right away because I can delete 
a post. So always keep a copy of your post somewhere. And if you miss something, you want to change something, um, call me or send me an email right away, a message, and I can do that for you. But once somebody else has commented on your uh, essay, then we can't. It's the way it's set up in in uh, Canvas. The way I have set it up, you can't you can't change it because that's unfair to the the person who replied to yours. The rubric is how it's scored. Rubric is very simple. It's not uh, not ideal, um, but it does the job. You might notice one thing here, the D's and the F's have the same amount of points. To me, there isn't a lot of difference between a D and an F. So you, grade, you get a letter grade for um, six different categories. And if you open this up, this can include plagiarism if it's an issue. If it is an issue, this 15 points could vanish. Uh, the way I do this is if, if, if it didn't seem an intentional to me, um, the grade is mild, let's say a half of a grade level. If it's more significant, you might lose a grade. If, and that probably will take this entire 15 points off of there, or even more, uh, because a grade level is more than 10% of the 150 point total. Uh, but you will lose uh, a grade level if it's a significant example of plagiarism. So make sure you understand what plagiarism is about. Not including citations and references is technically plagiarism. So don't just ignore those and hope for the best. That's the same as not, that's not giving credit where credit is, is due to an outside source. Okay. In addition to the, to the grade point on the discussion rubric, I uh, copy your essay and your replies into a document and then I uh, correct all of the mechanical or grammar errors and uh, mark up the paper and make comments at the end and then give it back to you in a comment area on your grades uh, where you can open up the document and see exactly what what you did wrong and what you did right. Do not send me uh, any of these to my personal email. All, all of the comments, all the questions that are sent through the messaging system of Canvas must be sent exactly that way. All the posts must be made inside Canvas, not sent to me separately. If you have a problem doing that, contact me and I'll, I'll help you get it done one way or another. We'll figure out how to do it. On your replies to other students, uh, essays, keep them positive. Uh, please talk about content only. Don't just give the, uh, make comments about how I love exactly what you did and what we think exactly alike and that's wonderful. You need to throw in a little bit of, of uh, I differ with you a little bit on this, this and this. That's it's a little harder to do but it's not really a critique. If, if all you do is say I agree with everything you said, that's too easy. Um, do not comment on other people's writing skills and their mechanical errors because I do that pretty thorough job of that myself and they don't need to hear that from other students. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, good luck to you. Send me any questions you have uh, in Canvas.